Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, three identical uh, green shaded uh, rectangles uh, fully inscribed uh, in a semicircle with the center O. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, PQ is the diameter of this uh, semicircle. And moreover, uh, the diameter of this semicircle is uh, 10 units. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, region. In other words, uh, the combined area of all these uh, three green shaded uh, rectangles. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know the diameter of this uh, semi-circle is uh, 10 units then the radius uh, has got to be half of 10 that is going to be 5 if I label the radius uh, lowercase r is going to be equal to 5 units and now let's focus on this uh, rectangle and now let's assume uh, the length of this uh, rectangle uh, AO is uh, 2 times uh, x and likewise the width uh, AB of this rectangle I'm going to label that one as uh, Y and please bear in mind that this uh, point B is the point of tangency and furthermore uh, this angle is our 90 degrees angle since we are dealing with this uh, rectangle and now I'm going to connect uh, the center O with this point uh, B as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, OB is the radius of this semicircle and we know the radius uh, is 5. So therefore this OB length is 5. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, OAB. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's the Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is 5, whereas our two other legs are 2x and y. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got 2x whole square plus y square is going to be equal to 5 square. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number 1. And in this next step, I have dropped this perpendicular OC on this uh, code and now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem according to this theorem if a radius of a circle is perpendicular to the code then radius uh, bisects the code so no wonder uh, this segment uh, has got to be equal to this uh, segment and we know the length of uh, this uh, rectangle is uh, 2 times uh, x so therefore half of this one is going to be x and likewise this one is going to be x as well and furthermore we know the width of this rectangle is y so therefore this width of this rectangle is going to be y and likewise this is going to be y as well and now in this next step I am going to connect uh, this center O with this uh, point of tangency D as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, OD is the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle and we know the radius is 5 so therefore uh, this radius OD length is going to be 5 and now we are going to focus on this uh, other right triangle uh, OCD and now let's make an observation we can see this whole uh, side OC length has got to be y plus y is going to give us uh, 2 times y and now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle as well and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is uh, 5 whereas our two other legs are uh, x uh, and 2 times y and now we are going to fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula so we got uh, x square uh, plus uh, 2 times uh, y whole square equals to 5 square and I'm going to label this one as a question number 2 
and now in this uh, next step we are going to focus on this uh, equation 1 and here I have copied down this uh, equation 1 4 times x square plus y square equal to 25 and now I'm going to manipulate this uh, equation by multiplying by 4 across the board by both sides so therefore we are going to have uh, 16 times uh, x uh, square plus uh, 4 times uh, y square equals to 100 and I'm going to label this one as our equation uh, number uh, 3 and now we are going to focus on this uh, equation 2 and here I have copied down equation 2 over here x square plus 4y square equals to 25 and now we are going to subtract equation 2 from equation 3 so therefore we are going to change the sign this become negative negative and negative across the board and here we can see 4y square and negative 4y square they are gone so therefore on the left hand side we are ended up with this simply 15 times uh, x uh, square equals to 75 and now we are going to divide both sides by 15 to isolate x square this 15 and 15 is gone so therefore x square turns out to be equal to 5 and now I'm going to undo this square by taking square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore our uh, x value simply turns out to be positive square root of 5 units so thus our uh, x value turns out to be square root of 5 and now our task is to find the value of y as well so therefore we are going to focus on this uh, equation 1 once again and here I have copied down equation 1 and now I am going to substitute this uh, x value as uh, square root of 5 uh, over here so therefore we could write uh, 4 times our x value is square root of 5 whole square plus uh, y square equals to 25 so therefore 20 plus uh, y square equals to 25 and now we are going to subtract 20 from both sides this is gone so therefore y square value simply turns out to be 5 I'm going to undo this square by taking square root uh, on both sides so therefore our uh, y value turns out to be square root of 5 units uh, as well so thus our uh, x value turns out to be square root of 5 and likewise y value is square root of 5 as well so therefore uh, this uh, dimension uh, of this uh, rectangle is going to be 2 times uh, x mean that's going to be 2 times uh, square root of 5 and likewise uh, the width of this uh, rectangle is y and y is uh, square root of 5 and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, green shaded region area is going to be simply three times uh, the area of this uh, green uh, rectangle so therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green rectangle first and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green rectangle and now let's recall the area of rectangle formula area is always equal to length time width of the rectangle and here in our case uh, the length of this rectangle is 2 times square root of 5 and the width is uh, square root of 5 so therefore uh, this green rectangle area is going to be 2 times uh, square root of 5 times uh, square root of 5 and now we know that if we multiply these two radicals that is going to give us simply 5 and that's going to be equal to 10 so thus the area of each of these uh, identical rectangles uh, turns out to be 10 square units and now let's recall this equation once again the green shaded region area is going to be equal to 3 times uh, the green uh, rectangle area and we already figured out our green rectangle area over here so therefore our green shaded region area is going to be 3 times uh, 10 so therefore that is going to give us equal to 30 square units the area of this green shaded region so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this green shaded region turns out to be 30 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye